Hi, everybody. I'm Steve Farrell, the Executive Director of Humanities Team, and I'm going to respond to questions here that Neil and I were not able to get to on our Changing Humanities Future program on uh, April 5th. So the first question that I'm going to get to is from Tamara. She says, how can I share my joy after this call? What are the ways that you, Steve and Neil, bring this presence and love into your daily lives? So great question, Tamara. The biggest thing that I do is to follow the impulse of my soul, uh, which means following what I'm feeling here and not just uh, being in a, this thinking place all day long. Use, instead of trying to go to my brain, go into my heart, my soul space, that's where I'm feeling what my guidance is. Uh, and if you follow your guidance all day long, and for that better, for the rest of your life, you're going to be just taken straight to these things that the one is inviting you to do. Uh, so in my case, the family that I have, humanities team role that I have, all of the things that I do throughout the day, and uh, each week, each month, throughout the year, you'll feel fantastic. You'll be in service. You'll be right where you're supposed to be at your station in life. You feel fabulous. Okay. Thanks again for that question. Ashley says, what are some baby steps we could take to bettering ourselves and the environment around us? Baby steps we can take to um, bettering ourselves and the environment around us. So baby steps, uh, you know, this is all about serving the one, right? Uh, so in our homes, in our community, out in the world, uh, what are things that we can do to serve others, serve the environment? So in our homes, looking at the things that we can do affordably that involve recycling, uh, and transportation that is not putting CO2 emissions up. I recently had a used car for years and years and years. I bought a used car in 2007, and then last year in 2000. 22, I sold that used car and I finally had saved enough to buy an electric car. Um, and then uh, I wrote a book. Uh, my book is going to come out here in uh, next month. Uh, and the book is all about this journey, this conscious journey, how we can nurture that conscious journey, what it feels like, what uh, my lessons were that were learned along the way from back in the 90s when I was much less conscious. Uh, uh, something that uh, this book will serve the world uh, because it, sp it speaks to these hard lessons that I learned along the way. So Ashley, these are a few of the things that we can do, baby steps, being more loving, smiling, uh, reaching out, helping your neighbor, being of service and assistance to people in your home. Uh, if there's anything ego -y going on, just uh, letting that go, just like a helium balloon, releasing that as we're more coming into service and into laughter and into loving uh, presence throughout our day. Okay, so there's a, a couple of ideas. Uh, okay, next question here. This is from Laura, and, uh, and Laura just has a comment. She says, I feel so blessed to be here now, honored. So Laura, thank you for that. Uh, we felt very blessed bringing these uh, all of these incredible partners, faculty members together with us on April 5th. And for that matter, the audience that we had with us, it was just totally uh, a beautiful audience. Erica says, do you have any way to bring this information to children in a simplified way or simpler terms? Yes, Erica, uh, there are actually are a lot of children's books around. Um, the one that I love, the most is A Little Soul in the Sun by Neil Donald Walsh. The whole Conversations with God cosmology that shares who we are, why we come into a life, why we, in other words, why do we embody? What is our invitation when we do embody? It, uh, it's a children's book, but the entire Conversations with God cosmology that shares what life is and what our invitation is and why we go from the non-physical realm into the physical realm and back is explained in just a beautiful and very simple way. So I'd highly recommend that. But Marianne Williamson has uh, children's books and, and they're 
other uh, many other children's books as well. If you Google spiritual books for children, you'll see a long list. Uh, wasn't so 15, 20 years ago, but boy, there's a lot of them now. Uh, so Melissa comes in and says, great presentation. So thank you for that, Melissa. Um, Judith says, this is a wonderful program, but as you can see from this audience, few young people and few people of color. Uh, so Judith, yes, we, um, first of all, we do have uh, a lot uh, of uh, people of diversity that are part of humanities team. We, uh, on during the April 5th program, you know uh, that we had Michael Bernard Beckwith, who's a, a, a very close member of our faculty with us, uh, Jude Curavan coming in from the United Kingdom on the program that we did the previous week, March 29th, Cynthia James uh, was part of the program. If you go to the Humanities Team website and then you look at the pull down our team uh, and look at our advisory panel, you'll see, wow, we have uh, really a lot of incredible diversity. It's something that we work very hard on. Also, our Global Oneness Summit with all of these programs uh, there's incredible diversity on that. If you go into and look at our Global Oneness Summit programs, we work very hard to uh, make sure that diversity, people of color, youth are involved in the program. And uh, regarding youth, we're in, in the midst of a lot of programs to reach out and involve more youth. My son, who's uh, 20 years old, going on 21, is now a part of Humanities Team. Our lead programmer on our team is... Uh, in the youth demographic uh, and involved in reaching out to other youth. So, so thank you for the observation. Very important to have people of color and youth and it's something that we'll continue to uh, be focusing on. Very important. Victoria uh, says, thank you, Steve, for all that you and the devoted speakers today have given the messages, the energy and love, and thank you for driving me in the rain in the hollow movement in Sedona, fan forever. Okay. Uh, thank you for that, Victoria. Victoria Friedman, just a dear friend uh, who was with me on a recent trip down in Sedona, Arizona. So that's a that's a that's a beautiful comment. Thank you for that, Victoria. Okay, and uh, those are the questions that we have here. Uh, so thanks for thanks for joining us for this program.